Hey, it's your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today. I want to do a quick video for you here and discuss how to work with children whose parents are narcissistic, psychopathic, borderline, uh, those with cluster B personality disorders. Um, if you're um, right now married to someone who has these issues, you're currently battling it out, you're hitting tough times, um, you're trying to figure out what to do, um, and you especially are thinking about and how to plan and help uh, the children. I think that is very honorable and noble of you and so crucial because any learning um, and education that you utilize and absorb and apply now and work with your child on is going to save you years and years and years of future trauma, turmoil, dysfunction, um, attention deficit diagnosis, um, emotional behavior problems, uh, behavioral deficits, emotional deficits, uh, drug use, hanging around with the wrong people, feeling lost. I mean, oftentimes um, it is the, the children who have been raised by a narcissist parent overt or psychopath are the ones who really end up paying the price and suffering so much because the child is not getting the attention, the guidance, the direction, the affection, the communication that they need. Um, they're getting overlooked, they're getting lost in the shuffle, and it's hugely and vastly important that um, that child be worked with and taught how to manage a parent who um, displays these types of behavioral problems. Um, extreme self-centeredness, etc. So number one, I would just recommend if you are kind of the healthy parent, make sure your child understands that they have their own space. Make sure that they have their own room where they are safe, where it is theirs, where they are treated with respect, they are treated kindly, they are given love, they are given attention, and no one is just going to pounce in on them no one is just going to barrel down the door and yell at them and tell them I'm not, you know, I'm going to leave here if you don't X, Y, Z or, you know, you don't deserve love or any of the other sort of emotional slandering that a narcissist parent can immerse onto their child and really disrupt them. Children are like a sponge. They absorb everything in their environment. And if they are around a narcissistic, hostile, aggressive parent who's yelling, who is, you know, fighting with the spouse, uh, conducting, you know, these sort of egocentric control manipulation tactics, and, you know, using the child as a, uh, as a pawn and, you know, being basically not serving to uh, take care of them effectively, they need to understand a couple things. They need to understand that, stand that they have their own boundaries, meaning your mother does this and this, or your father does this and this, and this is you. You know, you can have this, you can have that, and these are your feelings, these are your friends, these are your emotions, and these are some ideas and options for you to choose. But make sure the child begins to learn from an e early age, if possible, that they have their own feelings they have their own needs and their needs are going to be taken care of. Their emotions um, are part of who they are and they're going to be listened to and they're going to have time to uh, have listen time, story time, discussion time, sharing time, you know something in a quiet place uh, avoid uh, away from the distractions, the TV where that child is attended to you know, reading a book to them, um, you know, and getting off of the computer and maybe just having some one-on-one -on -one time, um, you know, actually going out and doing something, some of the more physical activities, learning to throw a ball, um, teaching them to ride their first bike, jump rope, um, draw on the sidewalk, go fishing, go bike riding, take a train ride, you know, learn about things, learn about um, culture, take them to their first symphony, take them to a music recital, um, get them involved in music lessons, anything that can help them ex express themselves in a positive outlet from an early age 
rather than being subjected to really dysfunctional and harmful treatment. Make sure that they understand that they have boundaries, that they're safe, and that this person um, has their own acting out behaviors and that they maybe have some issues and maybe just you know explain in a very easy to understand manner. Um, this, this person ha wants to control a lot of things. Um, this person wants to take charge of things that they maybe don't need to, but we're gonna just let them do their best right now so you never kind of bash the other parent. You just kind of explain what the narcissist is doing. Because the child, it's okay for them to learn about their parent um, and learn some of the qualities as long as they're based in fact, as long as they're accurate, and they're not used as a sort of uh, maniacal slandering like, you know, your mother's lazy, she's stupid, you know, something like that. That's not going to help you or your child. And the more you bash your spouse, the more you're going to hear about it from your child later on. I mean, you'll never hear the end of it. Um, you know, they, they, that really only backfires on you. And so if you want to avoid a lot of costly, you know, um, you know, parent teacher conferences, etc., issues with the school and child behavior problems, you know, you might really want to take the time now to have them learn a little bit about different people, different personalities, and teach the child how to protect themselves from being bullied, how to recognize the signs of being bullied, what it looks like on the internet, what it looks like in their school, what it looks like in their playground. So the child is ahead of the game a little bit and can learn to identify some of these behaviors and, and be able to stand up and be a leader amongst his peers and say, that child is probably just a bully. He wants to pick out on people he thinks are weaker than them. Well, he's wrong. Those people are not weaker than them. You know, he's just... He's just uh, a fraidy cat inside. That's why he's acting like a bully. And explain, you know, how some people act out of, uh, the, you know, how a bully might act. Um, you know, bullying is a very serious issue. Um, and especially now with the Facebook uh, information age, bullies really will, uh, you know, especially a lot of the young kids engage in, you know, that cyber bullying and all over Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram you know, where they're pitting one person against the other. I mean, kids have committed suicide over this type of stuff. I mean, kids are, it's a horrible thing that actually needs to be dealt with. And, you know, the family is a good place to start. Uh, the school is another good place. However, you know, the closer to home that they can pick it up, the better. So you have control and educate them definitely on the various types of people out there, letting them know who to trust, who they can't trust, and what are some you know typical behaviors of people who you don't trust? You know uh, the people who are doing drugs, the people who are trying to get you to do these bad things, people who are trying to get you to cut class, uh, friends who are trying to get you to do perverse things. You know it's okay to educate your child on the types of people out there. It'll serve you well, so that they are armed when they go into the world and know what to look for in terms of bullying, in terms of you know someone who might try to take advantage of them. Um, you know, approach them in a way and do they know what to do when that happens. These are all very good lessons and use it as an opportunity to reach out to and touch and help your kids. Peace and harmony with you here today. I hope these videos help. Please share, please subscribe for more great tools, videos, discussions, and support.